Welcome everyone. Adam is the woo here as a recording of this Saturday, April 9th, 2022. The sun is just now rising here in celebration of Florida. Exotic cars, classic cars, movie cars are now pulling in to the Market Street area. I'm inviting you to join me for the 2022 Celebration Exotic Car Show. It is relatively early. In fact, right now it is 7.50 a.m. Decided to come out here a little bit, a little bit before the festivities begin, and then I will stay throughout the course of the day. I'm inviting you to join me. I need a coffee. Shall you? This happens every year. It is a tradition. I've been going to this for quite a time. If I am in town, you can usually find me here on these given days. And of course, there are always sometimes time machined out, sometimes non-time machined out DeLoreans. And I'm already seeing that there are quite a few. Now, what's happening is all the people who own the cars are pulling in, stationing their cars here for display and for the festivities to begin. This is technically a festival, exotic car festival. Notice a DeLorean there, a DeLorean here, part of the DeLorean Club of Florida as stated right here. And there usually sometimes will be celebrities on hand. This is a charity event. And sometimes the celebrities will stay here at the Bohemian Hotel, which right now, for some reason, this is not turning around. Ooh. Oh, that's the hydraulics are now they're starting to go down. The hydraulics on this car here on the far end. That's pretty cool. Oh, check that out. There's an inflatable, look at this over here. There's an inflatable monster truck over here in the corner with these huge BK, BKT tires. Oh, it's not, all, it's not real, it's an inflatable. And all the other cars are starting to pull in. Everyone is getting their automobiles in the proper positions. And I have to admit, I know a little bit about classic cars, but when it comes to exotic cars like this, I don't know a whole heck of a lot. And in recent years, I've seen people chiming in after the event saying, "Oh, Adam was looking at a you know a movie car that's worth you know fifty or hundred thousand dollars when there's a you know a two million dollar car right beside him. He didn't realize it. And with my shadow at, look at this car. This they seized that car and that race car is pulling up on the curb. But oh, look at this. I get out of the way. I gotta get out of the way here. All checked. Look at the size of this tiny vehicle. That's a little teeny tiny car. And I can show the time right up there. It looks as if it is 8.04 or 8.05 at the moment. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's kind of interesting. I have not seen this fountain on probably in a few weeks, give or take. Could be because of the, the weather. It is spring. And it's kind of cool today, but I, I don't know if it has anything to do with it. But the fountain has not been on. And take a look at this right here, sitting up here, up in the little grassy area. I suppose I could grab my scooter and ride around. I kind of opted out of that because I didn't want to have the scooter rolling around, you know, close to these cars. This one's going to be parking very soon. Oh, look at this one. Well, this guy brought his bike. Take a look at number seven over here. Okay, here's a classic car. There's going to be a few classic cars, a few movie cars, and a few exotic cars and sports, sports race cars, sport race cars, sport cars. I'm pulling it over there. I'm noticing in front is this a Ferrari? This is the Ferrari area. I am guessing they're all kind of divided in their own their own little sections. Oh yeah, it is. Well, it's I'm gonna say it's happening. The car show is happening or the car festival, but also coffee. All right, it is achieved next to this mural right now. Like this is a large, large hot vanilla latte what I always order. And also this is the flyer. This goes on from the 8th to the 12th, but Saturday the 9th is the busy day. They have events off property as well. Today's the big day. Today would be known as the Concourse of Exotic Cars, one of the five best car shows in the world by Made Man Magazine. Get up close to 250 of the world's most exotic cars, race cars, and Hollywood movie cars, all lined up. Concourse judging a celebration spectacle, late front promenade. Now, if this is a Lotus down here, I would not have known that if it didn't state it. And there's another Lotus next to that one because it says Lotus right across right across the front. Oh, look at this. Flux capacitor. It's my coffee. Cheers. Love it. Something incredibly futuristic about this car. Obviously, the reason they chose it for the movie. Not a refrigerator as originally was going to happen, you know. 
originally it was going to be a refrigerator. And for me, living, you know, in celebration, it's kind of neat to see this event taking place because it's a little bit different than just having regular automobiles out here like it usually is. This is kind of a, a little bit different thing seeing, you know, these type of cars parked here in these spots instead of regular you know, everyday automobiles. And tucked away over in the corner, got a few motorcycles, a few choppers here at the Celebration Hotel as well. Three of them behind these stanchions. Really quite the congregation of DeLorean. I mean, it's like a, probably like 15 or 20 at least. And don't quote me on this, but I think this might have been from Dumb and Dumber right here. I think this is from Dumb and Dumber, this car. All right, I'm peeking in the back here. This is Fred's DeLorean. He has, this is night. what year is this? 81. 1981. Yep. I saw up here it has the 81 on it as well. And the interesting thing about this is this is an automatic. This is not a stick. They make them in two different two different styles. And you have opted not to time machine yours out. Yours is just the, the standard. I'm going to keep it OG. I've noticed there's a lot a lot more people now that, that they're probably even almost probably a little more rare without everyone putting the time machine stuff on it. Yeah. At this point. Because obviously you think of this, people think of Back to the Future. I do. Yeah. I wanted something I could just go out and drive. How many times a day when you're driving this around and people ask if there's a flux capacitor in it? Oh, all the time. Well I, I do have a flux capacitor, but it's a little keychain model. It's a keychain. <laughs> Cow. Wasn't expecting that. Lord, I think it's got some power, man. <laughs> and a few more automobiles that have the, the gold wing futuristic style doors, like this one right here. Here it is. Yeah, here's a, here's a couple classic cars kind of tucked away way over here to the far end. And take a look down here at how low to the ground. It's only like maybe an inch of clearance there on number seven here. Roads are closed. For obvious reasons. Gotta have the roads closed off. Each time I do a circle and walk back to other areas, more appear, just like this one here, in front of the Bank of America. This is a Lamborghini. Just check it in with the staff. Trying to figure out where they're going to park. Oh, look at those side mirrors. Those side mirrors protrude way out. And as the day progresses, it looks like Desertland has showed up with an automobile as well. This classic car with a couple of mannequins even has the grease poster over there. Grease is the word from the classic film. Right there, Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. And the crowd level has certainly escalated by this point of the day. A lot more people out here than there were a little bit, you know, just a couple hours ago when I was wandering around. It is in full effect. Getting into the area of Porsches. Here's one here. This whole section is full of Porsches. And this truck over here, it looks like it has quite the sound system in it back here. A bunch of kickers. A bunch of kickers around the back. Some of these really are something else. Now these don't. These are. These barely even come up to my waist. That's the. That's how tall they are. They're not really all that tall. I always like this little spot here on the side of the Celebration Hotel. Is like a little porch area that kind of overlooks the water, and you can look downtown. Sometimes I come over here and just sit and you know contemplate and think in the evenings. And right, right now I'm utilizing it to look over across at the, the amounts of people and the cars that are over there. It's a nice little spot. Right in front of the hotel is a time machine DeLorean owned by Terry and Oliver. And I was talking to Oliver and he ended up giving me this kind of a, I guess you'd call it like a comic book or a pictorial, you know, essay or look back 
and it's many, many pages going through here, on time traveling and how they drive the DeLorean across the country. Pretty neat. It's like, they're pretty cool with all the, the different info. They've been doing it for years. Just driving the DeLorean for charity across, across, across country. <laughs> That's a pretty neat little little souvenir he gave me. Now that is it. Look at this. Wow. That has quite a reflection right there. Look at that. Oh, this gentleman's holding some sort of a, like a sphere, almost like phantasm style right there. Like a little sphere. Glass sphere. I wonder if it's made of glass. Might be. Is that made of glass? Whew, close one. That's awesome. Thank you. That thing was really heavy. It felt like it was made of glass. Pretty cool. Market Street. Right there, you can see it fluttering around. There goes a guy with some fishing poles. future and I guess we're probably in the future right now this is what they came forward to see is Carl Davis we brought um, his DCM 12 it is a gorgeous car uh, you have a flux capacitor in it when you got it or uh, did you put it in yeah, I put it in <laughs> yeah. got a platinum award for Jake appreciate you bringing out your car can I get a little? I get a little video of your bird. Sure. I'm just gonna help them move and get out. Um, a little bird right here on the shoulder. Yeah. 
got a bird on his shoulder. That's pretty cool. Ah, smell that exhaust. Oh, I got one next to me here too. Let Eric Smith tell you about the next one. What we have here. I just realized Adam was here. We, together, we always work together. Adam, I'm the Apple. You guys, check us out. We're seamless. I met you at the Ghostbuster. You hosted Ghostbusters in LA a few years ago. Still with them. You also hosted a bit in New Orleans. I met you there. Wizard World. Wizard World. And now I'm doing a show that you're going to love. And uh, all week, uh, actually the whole month, Pat McAfee is promoting it. It's called Ice Wars. It's actually ice. hockey fights on ice. Like, uh, like UFC, three rounds. With hockey players, gloves off, they go at it on skates. And you're hosting it? Skating. I'm not ice skating, but I'm You're not going to be on? Yeah, but it's big. It's going to be huge. Well, it's a pay-per-view event. starts May 21st. FightTV.com. Bye. It's huge. Watch. I'll even hit him. If you don't know, all the money that's raised at this event over the five days is donated to Make-A-Wish. Over the years, over the past 18 years, we've raised and donated over $3.5 million. We've granted 400 wishes for kids. So thank you all for that. Next year is our 20th anniversary. It is our goal next year and that weekend to raise one million dollars over the weekend to make a wish. So the date, the date for the show next year is April first, so it should be an easy day to remember. But thank you all for being here. Have a great rest of the day. And that's going to do it for today from the 19th annual Celebration Exotic Car Show. And as the person running it just stated, next year is the 20th anniversary. Always a good time. I don't. I'm not here every year, but if I'm in town and it's happening, I will swing by Market Street and the surrounding roads for quite a fun event. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.